it's very natural for parents to disagree about how to raise their kids and I think it's a great thing. It means we have at least two perspectives, but those conversations are uncomfortable. So here are a few guidelines that may be helpful. First of all, determine why the thing you are trying to discipline around is an issue because some of them are, are just personal preferences and some of them are solid principles. Say for example, you feel you should pay differently around money. Is money foundational or is it unimportant? It's pretty important. It's one of the things Jesus spoke about most. So if it is about do we give an allowance, do we not give an allowance, when can the kids work, um, can they earn money on their own, all of those issues, those you probably need to hash out. If it's things about the way they wear their hair, it's probably not worth the conversation. We can agree to disagree. But the foundational, so the first question is, is this foundational? And then a lovely second question to determine whether it's really important is to ask the long-term question. What does this behavior look like three years, four years, ten years from now? And that should highlight whether it is a big deal. A messy room ten years from now, I don't know, a rotten attitude towards authority figures, oh, okay, that might be a really big deal. So that would be worth figuring out. So when we've determined it's actually worth it, we need to get on the same page about that we can still do a divide and conquer strategy. That means parents sometimes have baggage about things like spanking or they have baggage about discipline around dating. Whatever the issue is, if you have baggage, you're probably not the ideal parent. So let the one who has a light heart about it, a good example of how to do it, let that person lead that part of the discipleship of your child. And then lastly, get other people on board if you get stuck. There's no shame in parenting except when you do it without input, then the shame is guaranteed. So let the village help you raise the child. Ask other parents, ask people of faith, ask those who have already raised their children to adulthood if you are not sure.